we are third year students of electronics and communication engineering at chitkara institute of engineering and technology rajpura now we will discuss the project titled efficient analog design for solar power management submitted as part of phase 1b for texas instruments india analog design contest 2012-13 under guidance of professor raghav ankur the main objective behind this project are management of solar panel powers already installed on residential or commercial complexes provision of automatic change over from primary sources that is main supply to secondary sources that is inverter automatic setting and detection of battery threshold levels the project has a user friendly interface in the next part of the video we will demonstrate the project in detail in the hardware section we have four different parts signal sensing and conditioning section power supply unit main controller msc 430g 2553 based and a user interface cap sense and lcd in the sensing unit we have a very low drop resistance of 0.01 ohm which has the capability to drop a very low potential difference when even 10 amperes of current flows through it further we have an attenuator to detect the voltage and this attenuator has the capability of providing 2.5 volts when it is being powered with 50 volts so as to amplify these small drops across this resistance and the attenuator we have included a variable a dc gain amplifier that can be adjusted according to the system we are providing in conditioning section we have dual channel low pass filter of second order this low pass filter is made using opa 4277 op amp which is a very high precision op amp this conditioning unit is included so as to eliminate any noise that can occur in the system just like 50 hertz power noise or relay switching noises in power supply unit we have a regulated power supply which is providing us 5 volts and 3.6 volts for 5 volts we have used st's regulator lm7805 and for 3.6 volts we have used ldo tps73501 drvr from texas instruments and this is right now adjusted at 3.6 volts for providing different units the different power signals in control unit we have msc 430g2553 microcontroller which is compiling all the data from user interface and signal conditioning circuit and making a feedback that can drive relays and turn the pc and ac unit on and off this crystal oscillator that we have included is a 32.7368 kilohertz for providing 1 hertz of frequency for running rtc in the controller in user interface we have captions module from texas instrument and a 16 into 2 character lcd these switches and these sockets are connected here for providing the emulation of each msp430 device included here now for demonstration i am fixing the module back this captions unit and this lcd i am turning the system on here on the lcd we are getting system status rtc solar current which is a real time solar current and battery voltage level which are connected to the solar panels as soon as this solar current reaches the optimum level which i have set here is 4 amperes and my batteries are charged to level the system will override the charging and will continue to make the appliances run on inverter at the end of the day as this solar current drops and the batteries are not charged this will create a condition in which the inverter will be again turned off and the solar energy available will be charging the solar ba solar batteries in the user interface we have the captions module and as soon as the user want to adjust any value he can just bring it his hand closer to the captions module here we have a menu of four different choices charge set user can set the on voltage and off voltage for the batteries that went to turn the charging on and went to turn it off like i have set it this at 10.2 volts which is the very 
standard setting for uh, lead acid batteries in trigger we have the solar current to trigger the pc and ac unit which is a power conversion and changeover unit in C current we have the charging current if it is more than 4 amperes my PC and AC unit will go into operation and if it if, if it falls below 3.5 ampere it will again go to off condition in the maximum set value we have the maximum voltage at which my system will be running and maximum current this maximum current can be adjusted up to 20 ampere that which is my system specification as well and the voltage maximum can be adjusted to 50 volts now as soon as the user again take his hand away from the capsense module it will be back on the main screen for performing the field trial we have solar panels converting solar energy into electrical energy this is going into msp based power management system for measurement this manager is attached with inverter and batteries the analog emitter is also showing the current trading directly from solar panels manager system is measuring the real time values of current and battery voltages while comparing them with threshold levels in response the system is switching inverter and charging batteries these are the observation from one day of field trial of our system from 8 am to 11 30 we have our load powered from solar energy and batteries further taking more readings we reached to total backup time of 14 hours all the above reading were taken on constant load of two fans and two tube lights which adds up to 260 watts in the end we would like to thanks the entire ti adc team for their invaluable cooperation and time they devoted to us especially dr cp ravi kumar and mr sagar juneja and in our institute we would like to thanks mr raghav ankur and rajveer singh for their cooperation with us without them it would not have been possible for us to complete the project and we would like to mention that this project is completed in embedded system lab supported by texas instruments thank you